This is the real Tom Rose, and they're asking us how many points um, do these two curves have in common? When they say, and how many points do they intersect? What they're saying is like, you know, the, the solution set, if we take both of these, this is almost like saying take uh, the linear combination of these two equations. What is, the, um, what is the solution to that? What are the values of x and y? And uh, one way to do that is to do a substitution, uh, which is what I'm going to do. So they tell us that y equals x. So I'm just going to plug that in. So let's plug that in here. So instead of y, we'll get x equals x cubed. So I just combined them. Now I have one equation with one variable. All I need to do is solve it, and uh, we should get all the roots. So one of the things you want to do here is subtract x cubed from both sides. So minus x cubed, minus x cubed, and you get x Um, I changed my mind. Let's do that a different way. Let's subtract x from both sides. And what you get is x cubed minus x equals 0. Now we can factor out an x. And you get x times x squared minus 1 equals 0. And that, so remember this, this is the test's favorite code, x squared minus 1. That is equal to x plus 1 times x minus 1. You need to have that super, super memorized. It's basically guaranteed to come up on your test. So this will equal x times x plus 1 times x minus 1 equals 0. And what are the roots? So this, will, this equation will equal 0 whenever each one of these terms equals 0. So it'll have a root where x equals 0, where x plus 1 equals 0, and where x minus 1 equals 0. And that'll occur at, um, let's build a little table right here. It'll occur when x is 0 in the first case, um, negative 1 in the second case, and 1 in the third case. So those are the x-coordinates of all of our intersection points. So there's three intersection points. You could also, if you want, try drawing this. If you happen to be very good at what functions look like, I'll have to reuse the space a little bit. But a cubic function looks a little bit like this. And a line, in fact, let me draw that a little bit more eccentric to accentuate this. Cubic function looks like that. And a line will come through here like this. And it creates three intersection points, right there, right there, and right there. So if you knew what the line y equals x and y equals x cubed looks like, or you could plot it on your calculator or something, you could find those three intersection points. And those are, hey, not surprisingly, negative 1, 0, and 1, exactly like we predicted.